Hey, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan. Welcome back to another JC production. Today we're going to be talking about some performance and battery tips and tricks that you could use for your Galaxy Note 10 or your Note 10 Plus. Now without a doubt, the Note 10 Plus and the Note 10 both have excellent performance and I highly doubt you're going to run into any hiccups or stutters when it comes to just the amount of sheer power that these phones offer. And the same thing with battery life. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus has an enormous battery and I don't think you're going to have any problems straight out of the box with battery life. But if you want to squeeze a little bit more out of your phone, I don't blame you. And these tips and tricks are going to help. Number one, the very first thing you're going to want to do as soon as you take your Galaxy Note 10 out of the box is disable any unwanted or unnecessary apps. The model that I have here is actually an unlock variant, so it doesn't come with any carrier type apps. But in the case you do have a carrier version, you can disable a lot of the apps that are carrier specific. But let me show you how to uninstall or remove an app um, that came on my phone. So you're going to go into the app launcher here and then find the app that you want to remove. In this case, I'm going to remove Samsung members. So you're going to hold down on the icon, go to app info, and then right here, it will either say uninstall or it's going to say disable. So we're going to uninstall this one and that's it. Now, a lot of the carrier apps are going to say disable. So just tap on that. And what that's going to do is prevent that app from running in the background or even attempting to start, which is gonna save you some system resources, whether it's battery or RAM. Number two, when it comes to the edge screen, I really like the edge lighting feature, but I really don't ever use the edge panel and disabling that can save you a lot of battery life. So what you're gonna do is go into your settings and then go under display and then tap on where it says edge screen. And if you don't know, edge panels allows you to swipe from the edge of the display in order to view maybe some apps or contacts or a toolbar. You can set it up how you want to. But since I never use it, I'm going to go ahead and disable edge panels. I'm going to leave edge lighting on because I do like this feature since the Galaxy Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus doesn't have a notification LED. Edge lighting will light up the edges, alerting me that, hey, I got something going on with my phone. So I'll leave that alone. But uh, yeah, so that's going to save you a little bit of battery life. Number three, by default, the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus come with a lot of gestures and motions enabled, but you probably don't need all these. So we're going to disable some, at least the ones that I don't use, and that's going to save a lot of battery life since those extra sensors don't need to run in the background. And it's also going to help out with some RAM management. So we're going to go ahead and go back into the settings. You're going to go under advanced features and then look for motions and gestures. Tap on that and you have a list of different things here. My advice is to go through and find out what each one does before you disable it to find out if you're ever going to use it. And you can find out some more information about each setting if you tap over here on the left hand side. Now, not every single one offers this ability. Like if you tap over here to the left on lift awake, it's just going to disable it. But if you go down here to like the one handed mode and tap here, it's going to take you to a separate screen telling you what it does and how to use it. So we're going to go back and I'm going to disable lift awake. Double tap to wake, I really like, so I'm gonna leave that on. Smart stay, I don't need. Smart alert, I don't need. Easy mute, I don't need. Palm swipe to capture, I'll never use. And swipe to call or send messages, I'll leave, as well as the one-handed mode. And that's it. Number four. So the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus have a little hidden feature within the Wi-Fi settings that can help you conserve some battery life when you're on a Wi-Fi network. To access it, you're gonna go back into your settings and then tap on connections, go to Wi-Fi, and then tap on advance. You're looking for a feature that says Wi-Fi power saving mode. You're gonna make sure that's turned on. So what this does is it analyzes the Wi-Fi connection and based on the stability as well as your Wi-Fi traffic patterns, helps the phone consume less battery, thus improving your battery life uh, based on this analyzation. Number five, I bet some of you didn't know that even if you have Bluetooth turned off, it's still scanning in the background for Bluetooth devices. I know it sounds weird, but it's happening and you can disable that and that's going to really improve your battery life. To do that, you're going to go into your settings, then click on connections, go all the way to the bottom to where it says location in blue, tap on that and then tap on improve accuracy and turn off Bluetooth scanning. This is going to improve your battery life a lot since Bluetooth will no longer be running in the background when you don't need it to. Number six, the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus feature power modes, just like other Galaxy devices. And to access that, you're going to pull down from the top and then pull down again and then hold down on power modes. And then it's going to pull up your options and you can assign different power modes depending on what you're doing. So if you're gaming, obviously you're going to want high performance. 
but for the most part, you can leave it in optimized. But if you really want to get the most out of your battery, you have these options down here for medium power saving and maximum power saving. And these two right here are going to help you save a lot of battery life. And you can also pick adaptive power saving. So that's going to automatically adjust your settings based on your usage patterns. So for me, I just pretty much leave it in optimized, but every once in a while, if I want to get the most out of my battery life, regardless what percentage it's at, I'm going to put it in medium power saving. But these are different power modes that you can use to either get more performance or save some battery life. Number seven, when it comes to your Note 10 or your Note 10 Plus, there's one thing that you can do to help your phone feel and look a little bit snappier. Now, it doesn't really do anything for the performance per se, but it's going to look and feel like it is. So what you're going to do is go into your settings and then go to advanced features and then scroll down to where you see reduce animations. Go ahead and turn that on. And what that's going to do is shorten the animations that you see whenever you're doing like gestures, going to another app, pulling up the background app switcher or just getting into your phone. Let me show you. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And when I hit the home button, you can see that animation, the little zoom in. But if I go back into my settings and then turn this on, you can see when I hit the home button, it like fades. It's a lot faster. Now there's another way that you can reduce the animations and it gives you a little bit more control. So we're going to go back into the advanced features and turn off the reduce animations. Then we're going to go back and go all the way to the bottom, tap on about phone. We're going to go into software animation and right here where it says build number, just keep tapping it until you have to put in your pen. So put in your pen and then it's going to say developer mode has been turned on. Go back, go back again. Scroll down until you see developer options. Tap on that. Scroll down until you see where it says, let's see, transition animation scale, window animation scale, and animator duration scale. Tap on the first one and then select 0.5x. Tap on the next one, 0.5x. And then the last one, 0.5x. Now go back and you can see the animation times are even quicker. So that's probably the route that I would go is the developer options one versus the one that's already in the settings. It just seems to be a little bit better and a little bit more snappier. Number eight, many people don't realize that it's really good for your phone to restart itself once to twice every single week. It helps your phone clear its cache, closes out any background tasks that are happening, as well as improves the stability and battery life of your device. But if you're anything like me, you're going to forget to do this. So the best thing to do is go in your settings and set up a schedule for auto restart. To do that, go into your settings, find where it says device care, tap on that, tap on these three little icon circle things here, and then find where it says auto restart, select that, turn it on, and then pick a day of the week that you want the restart to occur. So for me, I'm going to do Wednesday and Saturday, and then you're going to pick a time for it to happen. 3 a.m. is perfect. So just click done and that's it. Now at 3 a.m. on the designated days, the phone will restart. It shouldn't mess with your alarm or anything like that. And it's going to keep your device running nice and smooth. Number nine, one thing that can really affect the battery life of your Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, as well as really reduce the performance of your device is apps running in the background. A lot of the times when you open an app, even though you might close it, it's still running. So the best thing to do is go in and then assign which apps can stay awake and which apps you want to put to sleep. That way they do not run in the background. To do that, you're going to go into your settings, go under to where it says device care, tap on battery. And then right here, you're going to see all the apps that you currently have running, how long they've been running and how much battery they are consuming. If you don't want one of these running in the background, you're going to select it. So like Chrome right here, tap on that. And at the bottom, you're going to see put app to sleep. Enable that. That means Chrome will no longer run in the background whenever I'm not using it. A lot of the apps that you download in the Play Store, especially games, will run in the background even when you're not using them. And if you do this all day long, well, that's going to eat up a lot of your battery and system resources. So it's best to make sure that app gets put to sleep whenever you're not using it. 
Number 10, the last thing we're gonna improve is your standby battery life. This is the time where you're not using your phone. It's in your purse, it's in your backpack, it's on a desk, it's on a table. You're just not using it. The screen is turned off, but it's not plugged into the wall. We can improve that battery life by optimizing what your phone does whenever it's turned off and not being used, such as pulling down data or consuming system resources by different apps that are running in the background. To do that, you're gonna go into your settings, go to where it says device care again, tap on battery, tap these three little circles again, go under settings, and right here it says optimize settings. Go ahead and turn that on. Now with that turned on, your phone should be optimizing itself based on your usage patterns on what it should and shouldn't do when your phone's not being used, thus increasing your battery life and consuming less system resources. Well guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. That was 10 tips and tricks to give you better battery life and performance out of your Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're new here, stick around by subscribing. If you have anything to add to this list, leave it down below in the comment section and I will talk to you fantastic people in the next video.